Hello everybody, Proto Foxy here, coming back at you with another video. We're reviewing toys, that's what I like to do, one of the many things I like to do on this channel, we review toys. So we're going to talk about toys. What toys do I like talking about? Don't answer that because I'll answer it for you. I like talking about Transformers, and today we got something very interesting here. Because I miss, I completely missed out on the Rise of the Beast Studio Series Scourge. Um, it's for whatever reason its availability was completely ridiculous which is just sucked but then i found out that black mamba was doing a version of this toy now everybody knows the thing about black mamba fourth party knockoff blah 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 this that, and the other thing black mamba is good quality stuff i've got quite a few of their figures which are knockoffs of uh toys mostly movie based so uh, you got all that stuff, but we've got the Black Mamba Scourge, uh, Studio Series Scourge. And this one, the name on the box says Disaster, Super Deformed, Deformation Series, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Um, the box is pretty basic. We've got Scourge in robot mode, Deformation Series, Super Deformed, QTO3. They call them Disaster. But we all know who that is, don't we? We all know who that is. Defamation, 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 defamation lawsuit coming your way from China, from Hasbro. Uh, because this is Studio Series Scourge. There's no two ways about it. This is Studio Series Scourge. And I'm so happy that they did this. And the site I got it from, which is uh, Show Z Toys, um, they're sold out of them. I'm not sure if they'll get more in stock. I know they deal a lot with like the fourth party figures. Um, and right now their uh, Battle Trap is sold out, which is the Studio Series Battle Trap. And that'll be the last one I need to complete my Terracon set. Because I will also be going into reviewing uh, Nightbird here shortly. Um, playing catch up with all my toy reviews and all that stuff. But this is Studio Series Scourge. This is the toy. Uh, let's get a look at it. Um, very dark coloring, obviously, because he is a Mad Max looking truck. Um, but the detail is awesome. As you can see, you've got paint wearing there. You've got paint wearing there. You've got all of the goodies there. The Terracon symbol on the top. And then you've got all the insignias on the front of the grill. Uh, you have the translucent orange plastic there. Translucent orange plastic here. The one thing that worries me, and even on official toys... This is all translucent plastic, so just 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 be aware, because you don't want to break stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got the painted on detailing here for the chains. He, this is the Studio Series figure, um, just, you know, from other means. Uh, let's get some comparisons, in vehicle mode, obviously. And this is another Black Mamba uh, toy. Studio Series, another Studio Series that I had missed out on, but now I took advantage of getting the Black Mamba. This is actually, and again, I will be reviewing this as well. This is the Black Mamba Studio Series Optimus Prime. I believe this was from uh, Revenge of the Fallen, if I remember correctly, uh, that it's based on. But as you can see, Leader Class, Voyager Class. So they size up pretty good because obviously your villain Mad Max truck needs to be bigger than your standard semi-truck. Um, but yeah, that works. All the wheels are pinned on. Oh no, those are screws. Actually, you get a good look there. Those are actually screws. So that's even better than being pinned on. Um, does all your rolling stuff, all that good stuff. Let's get the camera in focus and all that good jazz. Um, but yeah, this is, this is awesome. I'm so happy that I was able to get this and not at the exorbitant prices that everybody's asking for the official scourge for, because that is absolutely ridiculous. This cost $22 all said and done. Um, so yeah, and it is the studio series toy. Now, a lot of people complained about all of the visible robot junk here and there. Um, it is a cobbled together Mad Max looking style truck. Who cares? It looks cool. I'm happy. Let's get down to transformation. First and foremost, we're going to take that off. We're going to go ahead and make his arm cannon. So that folds up. 
and then, um, hmm, okay, well, I'm being a fool right now, let's see, I think it folds up, no, no, I had it right, because that, no, hmm, uh, no, there it goes, it's got to go this way, boom, and then, boom, who would have thought that that would escape me, but that is his arm cannon, very, very nicely detailed. We will go into that more once we get him into robot mode. Let's get started. Let's get started on this guy. First and foremost, the way I like to do things here is we're going to go ahead and unpack carefully. This is translucent plastic. Carefully. I'm going to go ahead and unpack. Move those up. Same deal here. Carefully. Translucent plastic doesn't like me. We're going to avoid on-screen breakage. Now, I like to move these up like that to get that out of the way. So we are there. We can get to work on everything else. First, we're going to take this bit of the truck cab. Are we going to do that or are we going to do the grill first? Ah, we're going to do the grill first. All right, we're going to take these. Let's oh, see, now things are already separating. Those got slots and pegs there. Now, this whole front grill assembly is attached to this side here, so be careful, because as you can see, translucent plastic. We've got all of that there. We're going to go ahead and move that out of the way, and we're going to get that down in there. So those just tuck in right there. Those just tuck in right there. Boom. That's that. Now we're going to go ahead and take these thin little bits here. And we're going to kind of go, and we're going to take the front of that, and then we're going to move that in. Same deal on this side here. It's a bit more involved. Boom. And then we're going to go ahead and get that in the way, or out of the way, and pegged in over here. Let's peg it in over here. Come on. Work with me, Scourge. Work with me, Scourge. There we go. So that pegs in there, and obviously he had visible head syndrome. It's fine. Now we can do this. We separate the fronts there. Go ahead and fold that back. That folds in. This accordion's out. And then that folds in. Boom. So here, this is where we're at. Okay, now, take these over here and start swinging them out. Obviously, the, oh, can't do that yet. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's separate those because that has to be clear. Now we can start swinging all of this out. And there's tabs here that peg in over here. So we're going to take that. Boom. We're going to take that. Boom. And we're going to come over here. This is where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and bring the arms down like so. So, same deal here, like so. We're going to go ahead and move that arm blade up there. Let's get that out of the way. Well, let's actually first do this correctly. Open up the arm blade. Then, it tucks in, maybe. And we're going to, okay, no, because that's the way it extends. So, boom, like that. We'll leave it like that. Boom. We're there. All right, let's get the let, let's get this part done and out of the way. So you're going to take carefully fold these in. Again, you can see all of the translucent plastic used, and actually, you got to kind of shimmy it in. Yeah. All right. So this needs to stay up first. Get that. Get that. Fold it in. Boom. Then that folds in. And then you've got tab slot collapse collapse there we go collapse and tap boom so now all we got to do is his legs easiest part you'll see peg port those undo for vehicle mode spin them around same thing here for his feet flip that post in there gonna do that no, we're not going to do that because that's actually that. I did that wrong. Boom, boom. Got that. Same deal here. Down, forward, boom, boom, boom. We have 
Rise of the Beasts. Scourging. He's a big boy. He's leader class. So we got to move the camera up. We got Rise of the Beasts. Scourge. And, um, yes. Absolutely yes. All of this. I am so glad that, that, that Black Mamba had didn't done this for people who missed out on the actual studio series Scourge or, um, you know, just and someone like me who refuses to pay upwards of like $100 for a leader class toy. That's it's ridiculous. I already think $50 is a bit ridiculous. But let's go into all the good stuff articulation. You've got two ball joints here on the neck and the head. We get close up there. We get that focus. Yeah, it's dark. He's a lot of dark plastic, but his eyes are translucent. He's got light piping, so you can get a wide, wide range of expression in the head. Let's and not pop that off the ball joint as I go out of focus here. Let's do this. First off, fix that. First off, fix that. Headless scourge. Who would have thought? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's fix that. All right articulation all that good stuff we've seen this before that doesn't go all the way but it will rotate um you know bicep elbow this opens up very very wide because his claw arm and all that good stuff um now the leg joints on mine are very very tight but he does kick all the way up and he does kick all the way back he's got very very and that's that's why uh very solid of course transformation involved this you know he's got thigh rotation soft ratcheted knees that do knee things and of course feet can move all that good stuff tiltage all that good stuff and then we come over here to his other arm. Let's close that hand up. Let's close up the claw arm. Because this is really cool. That opens up. That slots in. And boom. He gets that all there. So that closes in on his hand. And that works out very, very good. Um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Oh, and I also forgot. You can... You know, make him an amputee, and then give him a new prosthetic. And now, as I fling that out at the camera, sorry about that, everybody. Um, do all that, and now he has his arm cannon. So he can pew, pew, bang, bang, and all that stuff. But I prefer to have the claw arm on. So let's put the claw arm back on. And then you can take the cannon and you can plug cannon in to his butt for weapon storage. And now he's got a ton of junk in the trunk. Scourge with that junk in the trunk. He is all about that base. Let's get in a size comparison. Let's get in Studio Series Optimus Prime. And as you can see, Voyager and leader, so Scourge, and as Scourge should, he towers over Optimus Prime, as he should, because Scourge is huge and menacing and just evil, and that is just a great look. Um, I know that this is more based on the concept renders as opposed to the final model, so there are some inaccuracies, but so what? It's Scourge. And I like this look. I like the whole draping neck dressing he's got going on here. That's awesome. Who cares if it's the concept art? Because the concept art is actually really, really awesome. I still, I continually mess with this figure. It's just so, so cool. And I'm so happy that uh, Black Mamba did a version, an affordable version of this. And this is solid. I will, I, I would never steer you guys wrong. But a lot of these fourth party and knockoffs are, um, the quality is insane. Um, they're really good. They feel like Hasbro. If I had a pencil here, I would make the fun of the guy who does the whole plastic quality test. I can find something here. Let's take some nail clippers. 
Because that's, see, let's make fun of this guy. It's quality plastic. I kid. I kid. Whoever does that is a complete tool and is completely ridiculous. Plastic quality is really good, though. All jokes aside, it's awesome. Um, and for anybody who missed out or refuses to pay high premium prices for um, Studio Series Scourge, if you can track that down, that is absolutely a must-get. Like I said, I got it from uh, Show Z Toys, and it's now sold out. And hopefully they maybe get a restock of it, or maybe you can find it on, like, Wish or AliExpress or whatever, because I know a lot of those, a lot of the Black Mamba stuff can pop up on there. Actually, one of the Black Mamba... <laughs> Black Mamba figures that I bought, I believe I actually got off of Wish, which is something I'm going to review eventually on here too. Something I initially intended on reviewing way back when I started this channel. Um, so be on the lookout for that because I actually had like the artwork done and everything for it and stuff and whatever. Anywho, um, yes, this is killer. This is Studio Series Scourge. Uh, the Black Mamba disaster, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't care. That is the Studio Series toy, and it is awesome. And if you can track it down, I would definitely get it. Um, if, if, if you have to have the official toy, then track down the official Hasbro release. Spend the hundred, you know, $80 to $100 on it if you want. That's fine. That's your call. That's your money. I, however, will not. And I didn't because I have this guy. And he's awesome. Highly recommend. So, all that being said, I will say unto you this. Be kind to yourself and fellow human beings. Because life is too short, so play on. Uh, like the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe. All that good jazz. And I will say to all of you, I will see you in the next video. Bye. This. It's super awesome.